Hey guys, welcome back to VL Infotech. Today in this video, we will see how to write a Python program to find how many numbers are starting with 1, 2, 3, till 9. For example, here x is the variable which contains a list of elements 14, 37, 76, 65, 43, 98. In that, here 14 will start from 1. Here 37, it starts from 3. 76. Starting value is 7. Like I have to count. Like for example, we will repeat the values starting with 1. Yeah. Now, how many numbers are starting with 1, starting with 3, starting with 2, starting with 7? We have to count. I hope everyone understands. If you have any questions, after typing the code and after getting the output, I will explain clearly. So, let's get started. Yeah, we are done. Now we need to save the file. So click on file, click on save as. Now you can give any file name like num.py. Save. Python file should be saved with the extension py. So we got a Python file here. Now we need to execute this Python program by using command prompt. So click on this, type cmd, enter. Now we need to give path. CD space desktop, enter. Dictionary enter file name which we have saved just now file name dot py enter see we got syntax error so go to this and I have to check the Save now again go to that num.py. See, we got the output. Sometimes we will get error like this, but we need to check what is the error. 
here we got syntax error closing parenthesis so we need to check what is the error and we we have to rectify now copy this output and paste here now we will see the code line by line this line of code is used to assign li li means list of values list of elements in this list we have 25 12 34 13 these are the elements present in the list li now fd equal to we have to give nine zeros means from one to nine we are giving nine zeros these are the list of elements of zeros which we have assigned to fd and after that for x in li it will it is taking the element which are present in the list li first it will take 25 it will enter the loop after that it will convert integer 25 to string by using str of x and that string value will be stored in n and after that fd of int of n of 0 minus 1 plus equal to 1 here n of 0 means after converting string means 25 is the integer after converting string it will become 2 5 separate values 2 digits now n of 0 means value present at the 0th index that is 2 2 minus 1 means 1 Int of 1 means 1. So, fd of 1. After that, it will increment that fd of 1 by 1. Means fd of 1 means the value present at the index 1 is incremented by the 1. So, this is the index 0, this is index 1, index 2, index 3. Now, at the index 1, we are incrementing the value by 1. So, we got 1 here. And after that, it will go again to the loop. Now, it will take 12 as the number. It will convert the, that 12 integer to string. Now, it will take string 1, 2, 2 digits. Now, it will go fd of int n of 0. Here, n of 0 is 1 because 1, 2, right? n of 0 at the 0 index we have 1 value 1 n of 0 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 means 0 now int of 0 is 0 fd of 0 it will increment the value by 1 so fd of 0 means at the index 0 it will increment the value by 1 so we got here 1 same way it will can it will uh, do the process again it will take 34 and it will count and again 13 it will count again 14 it will go to the loop and it will perform all these operations and it will increment the values here so here we are printing li li means list of values so we got this output and for i in range of length of fd here length of fd means 9 so for i in range of length of fd it will enter the loop print number of values starting with uh, i plus 1 or fd of i so here fd of i means values which are present in this list by it is taking by indexing so fd of 0 fd of 1 fd of 2 the values which are present at that index value it will print that values so for example here number of values starting with 1 or 3 so here we have 12 13 14 so starting with 1 or 3 values we have and number starting with 2 we have 1 only one value 25 and number starting with 3 we have 1 so 34 in this way we need to find how many numbers are starting with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 9? After that, we need to print like this. I hope everyone clear with this code and output. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep coding, keep learning. 
if you like this video that's it for today's video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update